The source of the Nile Union of Persons with Albinism, a charity organization located in Jinja district, currently takes care of 628 people from different parts of the country. 313 of them are male and 315 female. 59% of these are below 18 years. Findings by the union show that 95% of persons living with albinism die of skin cancer before they reach their 40th birthday. Currently, seven persons with albinism under the care of the union from the districts of Kamuli, Jinja and Namayingo are struggling with skin cancer. You get a burn and that burn can it usually result into skin cancer, which is very dangerous to her horse. NTV went to Sitiohe village in Buhemba sub-county in Namayingo district to find out what challenges are associated with caring for persons with albinism who are struggling with skin cancer. In this small hut was Pascal Odwori. The cancer started from one ear and spread across his head to the other ear. No, 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 just a moment. Odwori could not sit up or eat. His wife, who is mentally ill, took care of him, though she did not know what affliction he was suffering from. Instead, Mary Awoma, a neighbor, explained Owori's illness. Ali Egesa, Odwari's brother, had just arrived to take care of the patient. According to Egesa, the condition was so severe that the patient could not be taken to hospital and he had asked the doctors to treat him at home. Sadly, a few days after we left, we received information that Odwari had passed on. The charity organization says it has lost 15 persons in less than two years to skin cancer. It's because of the limitations in the funds, but we, we would have saved a lot of lives. And right now, there are several people who are in severe cancer who need help. In March, as the source of the Nile Union of Persons with Albinism is doing its best to protect persons with albinism from the dangers of skin cancer, it has faced a number of challenges. We don't have sun protective materials, some sun protective materials like lotions on the free market, and if at all there is, they are so costly. One lotion can go for 180,000 and uh, it can't last for two months. They, they use these sun protective materials as, as medicine. And uh, if uh, in most cases they lack the transport to come and you know get other medication, so we really need a lot of support to deliver well the services to the community. In June 2018, the Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga asked the government to prioritize the provision of sunscreen for people living with albinism by including it in the 2019-2020 financial budget.